Alright folks, welcome back to Blind Nation, and yes, you are looking at my vehicle once again. This is the 2004 Mountaineer. Very nice vehicle, and uh, I, I already did a show on this, uh, showing you guys the vehicle, but um, someone wanted me to do a video again, showing them how they, they are evidently stuck. They have their, their second code, but they don't want that code. They want to change it, but they can't because they do not know what the factory code is. Someone told them they had to go into a dealer to get this done. They were told there's no other way to do that. You were told wrong, my friends. Last video I sort of talked about it and kind of showed, but I'm actually going to do it on this video and show exactly how to do it. Might be a little dark, I apologize, but doing my best move my little kid out of the way for my uh, CD player all right first of all let me check this again real quick all right we're good all right I'm going to crawl up in here now I'm going to the very back I'm actually going to let that down too, just so it's out of my way. All right. So, this right here is where your seatbelt is. All you got to do up here, guys, see how I just took my finger and how it moved? I completely moved that out of the way. Okay. Now I've got that out of the way. Now it's not this box. Okay. It is going to be. Now, you're going to need a flashlight and someone to look for you, but I'm going to try to show it to you the best I can. Okay? Right. Well, it's hard to do. But anyways, see this? Right behind this. Behind this guy right here. Back there. See if you can see where my finger is, if I can do this. If you can see my finger right here, plug in right side of it. You're going to need to pull this back far, get a light, shine it down from the top. You'll get your, your, your factory code, and then you can reset it, okay? It's that simple, guys, I promise. Um, not hard to do at all, okay? All right, make sure I got this guy. Um, let me uh, let's see here. I'm going to sit you guys down a minute. And you just went black. <laughs> but just hold on because I'm putting this back up where it goes. So bear with me, my friends. Um, but yeah, that, that's all you need. I don't know. The, the car lot is telling you otherwise. They are telling you that for one reason. Okay? One reason. And one reason only. They want. They want that money. <laughs> That's exactly what they want. They want your money. So. You gotta. Bear with me here guys. Okay. Um, I know the car lot's telling you that look. That's the only way you can do this. You got to have such and such. But I'm telling you, they're lying to you straight up. Okay. Let me pull this guy. There we go. And this guy here, which is a pain. Um, there we go. But yeah, so. Uh, why is this getting stuck? There we go. 
Yeah, I got this clip here. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to get this one last clip that likes to be a pain in the butt. There we go. All right. And ta-da. There you go. Back together. On that box, though, is the code. Okay? Um, it is a... It's a five digit code and it's going to tell you, it's going to give you the uh, factory code to your locks. You got to use that one. Hey, why did that guy lift up for? I didn't want it to lift up. Dag it. All right, let me, uh, hold on guys. Put my seat back up. Put this guy back up. And there we go. So, there you go. Once you do that, let's go ahead and walk over here. Now I'm going to act as if I'm resetting mine. Um, basically, you're going to come here. Okay, you're going to put your code in. Now, once you put your code in, let's just say it was... Uh, three, 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 three. Okay, say that was factory code, which is not. You'll put that in, then you'll hit this top button right here. When you hit this top button, that is to put in the second personal code. Okay, and then you can, once you put it in, and if it's successful, you'll hear it lock. It, it'll make a locking noise. Um, there are two codes the factory code, you cannot change. You can never change the factory code unless you go to a dealer and you change that uh, box over there. Or unless they can change the factory code. But uh, from my understanding, you got to change that box to change the actual factory code. So, uh, never give out the factory code to anybody. What's good is if you got a second person that drives, is you use the first code and let someone else have that second code. Um, because on some of these, on the, if you set your seats, and I don't think this one does it, but I thought about trying it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it just to see. Let's, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna put in uh, my code here. Oops, I did that wrong. Did it wrong again. Okay. Let's see. Well, I thought that was it. I don't have the factory code memorized, but I'm trying something here. Okay. There we go. I've unlocked it. I'm going to try something here. Evidently, if you set your... Okay. There's that code. Now, let me try something. By the way, this here, if you press these two, that locks everything back up. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this other one and I'm going to change my seat we'll just set it there just to see I don't know how to do it that's why I was just trying to see all right let's try doing the okay excuse me did it move back no 
I don't know how to do it. There's a way you can make it to where when you put in your code, it'll do the memory for the seats, but mine might not have that feature anyways, but I know on uh, some of these they do. But anyways, I hope that helped you. Um, I'll just do a quick thing here with you real quick, show you different things that you can do. All right, if you want to lock it, you just take, I always just take my thumb right here and put on the, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the seven and eight button and the nine and zero. If you hold them both down, that locks it. Um, if you hit the uh, three and four, well, let me put the code back in here. Um, um, put the code back in here. Okay. This one up here, that unlocks it. The uh, three and four, the five and six. Well, did it already go away? No. Yeah, it did. Dag on it. Let's just wait a minute here. Bam, 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 bam. Yes, the one, two, three, four. The five, six button, when you press that one, it opens this. Okay? So, you've got, again, right here, if you hold these two down, both of them at the same time. That locks it. Up here. Unlocks it. That there's your back. Which. It's already locked. So. I don't think doing it that way does anything. No. 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 Okay. Yeah. That locked it. So. Anyways. I uh, hope this helped you guys. For the person that wanted to know how to do that, do not let the dealership fool you. You can do this yourself. This works on Explorers as well as the Mountaineers. Um, I know for sure from 98 up to uh, 05 and probably newer. I'd say up to 010. You can probably find that in the same area. It's, I mean, it's always going to be in behind one of them trim pieces generally anyways. So, anyways, I hope that this helped you out. I really do. And uh, if you got any questions or whatever, let me know. Let's see here. Um, again, once you get your factory code, just real quick. Okay, guys. Let's say it was 33, 33, 3. And it would unlock, bam, bam, bam. Hit your top button up here. Put in your code. Once you put in the five digits, it will lock or unlock, and you're done. But don't ever give out that code to nobody, okay? Like, share, subscribe. I love you guys, and I appreciate every one of you guys that join as new members. It means so much to me. I try to do my best for you, and uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully I do... Uh, you know, keep you guys happy and you enjoy my videos. I love you guys and I'll talk soon.